Egyptian unit fractions. This is a very interesting exercise and now we'll try to write one as sum of unit fractions in three different ways. Uh, number one could be written as one over one, right? So one over one itself is a unit fraction, but we call this improper unit fraction. And we'll see how to write 1 as sum of unit fractions. As you know, 1 is half plus half, right? So that is one way of writing, of course. And the other way is, now we can write in terms of some other unit fractions. We can write 1 as equals to half plus, instead of this half, we'll write 1 over 3 plus something else. Now, what should that be, right? Let's figure out. So we'll do some rough work here to figure out 1 over 3 plus what, right? So to find that, this total should be half. Therefore, we're looking for half minus 1 over 3. That should come here. So it should be 3 minus 2 over 6, which is 1 over 6. So that should work. So it could be half plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6. That should give us 1, right? So what you can do is, you can test it out whether it is really correct or not. So we got one way which is just one. One way is half plus half. Another way half plus one third plus one over six. Now we'll write one as sum of more unit fractions. We can continue this process you know. So what we will do is we'll write this as one plus one over three plus now we'll split one over six into two numbers. So it could be written as 1 over 7 plus something, right? Now that something when added to 1 over 6 should, one, when added to 1 over 7 should give us 1 over 6, correct? So what is that number? That number we can find like 1 over 6 minus 1 over 7 which gives us 42, 7 minus 6 which is 1 over 42. So that number should be 1 over 42. If you add this, you should get 1. Now as an exercise, you can add this and check it out whether these are the right ways of writing our Egyptian unit fractions or not, right? And then like this, you can expand your series and write one as combination of so many unit fractions, right? In fact, you can go on with this series infinitely, right? So I'll have one more problem for you which you try on your own, and that is to write 7 over 8 as unit fraction in different ways. Thank you, and all the best.